Yo, what's going on everyone? My name's Oliver Klingain from Big O Hoops. Now, if you don't already know, I'm a Division III college basketball player, and kind of the whole point of this channel is to showcase Division III basketball by showing what I do, but it also helps you guys get better at basketball because you guys can just duplicate whatever I do in these videos. But if this is your first time watching this channel, I assume you guys aren't subscribed, but we are getting close to 100 subscribers, so if you guys really want to do that for me, it would help me out a lot, and I'd appreciate it. But it's 7 a.m., so I'm a little bit later than I usually am, but the first thing we're going to do is go get our shots up, and I'll take you guys through those drills, and then after that, we're going to go do a shoulder workout and at one of the two places I'm gonna do some conditioning as well so I'll show you guys what sort of work I get in but with all that being said let's get into it all right guys I just got here I got stretched out but other than that we're pretty much gonna jump straight into it we're gonna start out with ball handling now if you watch me most of the time I do stationary ball handling but today we're gonna to do a bunch of transition stuff we're mostly half court back because they have the nets down so we can't play full court just because of the corona. But we're going to do a bunch of half court and back stuff just to make it more game like. And today's focus is pretty much going to be threes and then a bunch of finishing drills. So we're not going to go too crazy. I think last time we did a 200 shot workout. I think this one's only 100. But it's still a lot of work. It's going to be a lot more fast reps and like less pauses and all that sort of stuff. So let's get into it. I'll, I'll walk you guys through it as we go this time. I just finished that and I'm sweating a little bit already but for ball handling if you guys make mistakes that just means you're going hard edgy so I lost it a few times but if you guys go watch like Kyrie Irving workout drills and stuff on YouTube he messes up too and he's one of the best ball handlers like of all time so just because you guys are making mistakes doesn't mean you're bad it just means you got work to do which I obviously do and a lot of you guys do too but obviously nobody's perfect so just keep doing your thing keep working nobody can make fun of you for that but after that now we got ball handling or now that we finished ball handling we got layup drills and stuff like that and then we'll finish with some threes
All right, guys, I just left the gym, and as you guys can tell, I'm already in the car, but I pretty much got told to stop filming, so I stopped filming the workout, because where they were sitting, they could see me the whole time, so I couldn't, like, just continue the film. But pretty much after you finish driving from that left wing, you go, like, baseline in the middle on the left wing, and then after that, we were about 50 makes at that point, and then I did 10 free throws. And then if you saw the last workout, I do eight makes from each spot, so all five spots for the three. And then it's just 100 makes, and it's pretty self-explanatory, so you guys didn't miss too much, just the shooting part and the free throws and stuff, so that's why I wasn't, I didn't care too much, but uh, we'll probably find a new spot to film, because they weren't exactly the most happy about me filming in there, even though I tried to explain to them that, like, what it's for and all that, but they weren't really about it. They gave me somebody to talk to, but that's not the point. But you guys saw pretty much more than half of the workout, so I'm sure you guys are fine with that. And then now we're going to go to a different gym because their weight room is just way nicer and I prefer the lift there. But we're going to go there right now. We'll get a shoulder workout. And as usual, I'm not necessarily like a trainer, so don't use me as examples of how to lift. Just use me as like different variations of workouts you could do. But we're going to do shoulders today, so let's go. Alright guys, I just got done, so hopefully some of you found that stuff interesting. But with shoulder day, you guys don't want to go too crazy, because shoulders, yeah, it's kind of a big muscle, but it's actually separated into a bunch of smaller muscles. So you guys want to make sure you're hitting each of those, but you also can't be going too hard on each one. Because at least the soreness and shoulders are definitely like kind of like a delicate, just like there's a lot of stuff going on. So if you do injure yourself, it's going to cause a lot more problems than what it's worth. But you guys definitely got to make sure you're hitting them just to keep them strong, especially for basketball. I wasn't planning on jumping rope today, but I saw they had one there, so I figured I might as well use it. And it does a lot more other things other than just like burn calories and get you back in shape. It builds your leg muscles, so it does help for basketball a lot, just your overall foot speed, 
all that sort of stuff. So if you guys do have access to a jump rope, I definitely suggest trying that one day. And if you guys can keep doing it, maybe even three or four times a week, it's super good for you. But like I said at the beginning, we are getting close to 100 subscribers, so we might already be there, but I doubt it. So if you guys are watching this and you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.